bottom of your hands to touch. Eyes, throat, groin. If you can't see, you can't fight, you can't breathe, kick, hammer, hammer, knee. I would at least better have my legs available so that I can strike with my heel, I can thumb, I can strike. Remember the groin is a good technique in self-defense. Then we start working some sweep and reverse. Palm to elbow, hook to hammer. Palm to elbow, hook to hammer. And you always have the arms, you always have them at control. Get some pressure points, put your knee in some uncomfortable positions for it. You got three ways to finish. Okay, keep it simple once again. Strike, take down, or choke. The situation is happening. I can strike out of it. You know? I can choke out of it. Or I can take him down to get out of it. And we talk about mixed martial arts. Well, mixed self-defense. You know, be good at everything. Gun against him. Closest. Strike and use combatives, you know, techniques. The verse is now for connected because the hands are on me. Well, the hands are on me depending on the threat. I either just want to get the hands off, so I just want to do a move to break the grip, or work on controlling the person for something else, you know? controlling him to getting into chokes and maneuvers that can bring him from one place to another and you know, put you in control of the situation. But if the hands are on you, no matter how they're on you, you want to get them off or you want to keep them where they need to be. 